and the Institute has four main themes that we work on. Democracy, capitalism, geopolitics, and the future of the human. Who are we becoming? Who can we be uh, in the age of artificial intelligence and gene editing? And three of those, at least, are covered to some extent in the book, meaning democracy, rethinking capitalism, and geopolitics. The Institute has two centers on purpose, on the almost opposing sides of the world politically and culturally, Los Angeles and Beijing. So from the beginning, we've tried to think about these issues in a way that hopefully is somewhat creative and provocative. We did write a book, Nathan and I, some, I think, seven years ago, on the same subjects. And unfortunately, we were maybe a little bit early in terms of seeing that there are going to be real challenges to you know, coexisting in a world where, uh, let's say, um, power is shifting, um, the capacity to govern is shifting, a world where incomes are going up, but inequality is going up as well, and um, a world where uh, everybody has access, meaning everybody is connected, everybody can have a voice and will want to have a voice, but how do you federate those voices? How do you bring people together as opposed to apart? So these are the issues we try to work on at the Institute, and we are very lucky that in one of the things we do is not only to work with people across cultures, that's why I said West and East, but also across disciplines. So we'll engage with people like Reed, who are knowledgeable in the real world technology, but also um, exposed to pretty much everything um, around politics and capitalism and AI and other things. Um, so we'll engage with people across disciplines, politics, um, philosophy, um, even artists. <laughs>